Guys, fish on. Beautiful lake trout. Well, we'll take a quick picture. Skin's nice and crispy. So good, man. Oh, where is it? Oh, that one should have enough pop. Where do you want to punch it? Get the otter up first. Oh, what is going on, guys? Today we are back with another very exciting video. You guessed it, we are up here on Lake Superior. It is me, we got Cody, we got Bo with, and we are ready to rock and roll on some big lake trout, hopefully. Gorgeous morning out, sun's just coming up. Cody's unfolding the otter. We're gonna let you guys enjoy a beautiful Lake Superior frigid sunrise. And um, we'll start talking to you when we get all set up. We're gonna go into kind of what we're doing, where we're doing it, hopefully catch some big fish along the way, and maybe even do a little shore lunch, right? Depending, depending if we catch eaters. If the big fish are going, no shore lunch. If it's kind of slow, but we catch an eater fish, shore lunch. Stay tuned, enjoy the Lake Superior sunrise. Are we rolling? Terrible sun angle, whatever. We'll talk anyways. Laker fishing, we had one comment, you know, 99% of the comments on this YouTube channel are awesome, supportive, you guys like the content, life is good. Then you get those one, and it's not like I even care, I always just like addressing it. One guy commented on just a lake trout beat down the other day. He's like, well it's cool watching you guys catch fish at all, but where's the information? So the information, we'll put a little bit in this video. Rod, I'm using the same rod, very impressed with this pretty much in every single video we're using. Elliot Rods, I know the sun angle's terrible, so don't give me a hard time on this. Elliot Rods, this is the 46 inch heavy Siscoet spinning. And what you want in a lake trout rod, and you guys should be able to see this halfway decent here, is a rod that loads very far into the midsection. Obviously you need a heavy rod to fish a big heavy bait and land big fish, but what you really need is a rod that loads super deep into it. A lot of those old school lake trout rods everybody would use, they bend like this, like fully maxed out will look something like this right here. And when that fish starts head shaking, all it looks like is this, and you're getting slack line, because these fish do use huge head shakes right at the pool. So get a rod like this that loads way deep into that rod. 15 pound braid on there, 15, 17 pound floor leader. And then uh, if you weren't fishing like a lake that has a lot of current like this, you could probably get away with a lot of times like a, a three quarter ounce jig. We're fishing a lot of ounce and a half, even up to two ounce, depending how hard that current's ripping. This is the Acme Ultimate S jig head right there. Big lead head, obviously. A big hook on there, big owner hook on there. And then I always like to put a little stinger hook on there, especially if there's some smaller fish around. Big white swim bait, five inch, six inch, somewhere right in there. Good to go. So for you information guys out there, that's our setup. Now we hope to catch a few lake trout. Guys, fish on, fish on. Boom, we got one. Feeling decent. Feeling decent, feeling weird. I don't know if the guys can hear me. Hey, I got one. Yep. Oh, there he goes, he's going. Gotta get the mark him out of the hole. Got to get the mark him out of the hole. These guys are not getting out of the shack. Hey, big head shakes. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing better. I don't know how they can't hear me. They're not very far away. Cody. Here he comes. Here comes Cody. Wow, I just, you know, we kind of set up right by the shack right at first. And uh, just wasn't, 
wasn't really happening for me. At first it felt big. At first it was doing some big fish stuff. Here's a leader already, which is a little surprising. I'm gonna make sure I'm not caught in the ice. Maybe he's not as big as I thought. Came up real nice and hard. What do we got here, Cody? Is, that, is it too bad? What do we got here? Number one of the day. He's coming up real weird, isn't he? I think he might be like actually halfway decent. There's just nothing better you can do through the ice. Oh, he ain't too bad, is he? No, he's not. There we go, dude. dude. <laughs> Hooked dude. up, fish on, boy. Get that dog, He man. surprisingly did not fight super incredibly hard. Grab that camera once, Cody. He, you know, he made a couple big runs. Kind of foggy. Is it still foggy or does it not look that bad? It's a little foggy. Look at that. Wait, swim bait. You know, I just like I said, we're going to get the camera unfogged here quick, but I was jigging back at the shack. Does it look better now? Yeah, it's not bad, Bo. How's the camera look, Cody? It's good now. All right, guys. There we go. Beautiful lake trout to kind of get things rocking and rolling this morning. Hopefully things are just the start. How long is that fish? 35? What do you think? 34, 35 right there. Nice fat, though, dude. Nothing better you could be doing through the ice than that right there. Let's take a quick picture for a thumbnail. We'll let them go. All right, guys. Big bad lake trout. I'm sure the camera's probably a little foggy. Let's let him go, number one in the morning. That is what we are out here after. I love it, so that's an eight inch hole, and this is not a freak nasty stud. And <laughs> look how they fill that thing, dude. Is that cool or what? Oh man, nothing better than it on the ice. Out here, Lake Superior, gorgeous day, middle of nowhere. Got to watch the sun come up out here, and the experience is amazing, the fish are amazing. If we could do that a few more times today, I'll be a happy guy. Cody and Bo are getting it done in the shack, doing some jigging, marking a bunch of fish, nothing biting yet. And I just kind of bounced out to a little deeper water. I was maybe here for five minutes, not even. That fish shot up in bed. So Cody's holding the camera. I'm going to let him go because he was just working a big old laker in the shack. Fish on. Hooked up right there. Bo says he's marking too. Well, we're just kind of moving around. Chaotic video. Good head shakes, Cody. Looks solid. Not God is doubled up. Not feeling a ton of big fish potential here. We kind of wanted to get one eater today. And I feel like this is going to be another one kind of like that. Kind of like that first one I caught. Yeah. Where we got a couple here. And I couldn't even get the GoPro on just maybe in the nick of time I did. Gosh, dude, so much fun though. <laughs> you know, I mean, not a fast day at all. And it sounds like, you know, most people we're talking to, we spent so many days up here. A lot slower this year than last year. We've been fortunate to catch some good quality size fish this year, but... We have not had a day where we've really just smoked a bunch of numbers. We're sitting in 140 feet right here. And remember that these fish burp their way up and expel air on the way up. So it's not like you're doing damage by catching these fish in deep water. This is a weird fight. It's just like big funky head shakes the whole way. Now he's just kind of giving me some line. <laughs> it's a long fight. It is a long, long fight. Beat, it's like making a lo super long. Bo's got one too, Cody. Double up, boys! Double up! <laughs> Get him! <Let's> go! <laughs> get him! Yeah! Get him! All right, we're gonna try to. I'll try to land this and get over to Bo. How freaking sweet! We're doubled up on Lakers, Bo. We're doubled up. They obviously started to come through. Here's the leader, Cody. The second this fish comes out of the water. Second, this fish comes out of the water, I'm gonna run over to Bo. It's actually not a bad, not oh, that bad. Decent, ooh, ooh, ooh! He's getting a little more real. Look how fat he is, Cody. It's one of those big, like silvery white ones, isn't yeah. it? Big old fatty white. Big old fatty white Laker. Oh gosh, dude, I love it. I love it. Where's yours at, Bo? Right at the hole. How's that? Really? Yeah. How's that rod treating you? Pretty, pretty nice. Loads up nice, doesn't it? Yeah. 
You got an eater bow? Yeah, buddy. Nice. That's Bo's got literally the perfect one. eater. This one's way too big. Right oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, he's been like right there for a... Oh, dude, it's a nice one. Look at that guy. Oh, he's going to go down, isn't he? Oh, I got him. Cody's got him. Oh, is he oh, fat, dude? dude? Is he ever fat? Oh. Is he ever a fat one, man? Oh. Hold that thing up, Cody. Dude. Straighten him out. Impossible. Here. Straighten him out. Dude, there's another fish at the bottom of the hole. Here, let's get him popped off here. Oh, Cody, kind of show him off to you guys real quick. What a beauty. <laughs> there's the double. <laughs> there's the double. Bo's little guy. Hold that fish out, Cody. Look at how fat he is. He's up. so green too. Yeah. That's a cool looking fish, isn't really it? Colors cool. on that back. Beautiful lake trout. Well, we'll take a quick picture. Yeah, he's a good eater, Bo. Hang on though. Look at that fish, you guys. Quick picture. Back in the water. I know we're just only running. The chesty. Cool catch though. Bows. <laughs> Nice. That is yeah. the eater size right there. Nice not, size. They got to be 15, and that one's about 16 and a half, 17, isn't it? Yeah. Should we keep? I got a measurement. Yeah, he's, definitely, he's definitely, he's definitely legal. Yeah. Give me right some. On, Give me <laughs> some. I, I want to get back down. Let's There's get a couple fat. more. Late in the day, but uh, quick little double there. Awesome one. All right, guys. You know, little update here. It's uh, kind of early afternoon now, and uh, definitely not a crazy numbers bite today. But look at this day unbelievable outside it's like zero wind out calm as can be it's like 18 20 21 22 degrees something like that and just gorgeous outside unbelievable and we've kind of been running around hopping spots a little bit and uh, has not been amazing fishing but any day you can be out here on the big lake and just kind of you know on a day that's this nice incredible absolutely worth it we kind of abandoned the otter we're just kind of all fishing outside now because it's so nice running through a few spots not trying too hard to get a crazy video because we're just not catching a crazy amount of fish today um, but you know if you could stick a couple nice fish get a few um, little smaller ones to maybe eat which we hope to do kind of towards the end of the day um, it's a decent day and uh, it's always fun out here watching these fish chase up and down the graph we're seeing quite a few fish not getting a ton of them to bite that's just kind of the way it is but uh, like I said it's kind of any day you could be out of the big lake when it's this nice out with some good buddies having a good time it is a absolute win of a day Maybe lake trout for dinner, right behind the head. And if my hands aren't so cold, I'd probably just rib them. But uh, you can basically just clean these little guys like a walleye, or you can just cut right through it. Kind of your choice. But uh, if you're gonna do the rib way and just cut the whole fillet off, then you gotta kind of be a little bit more, a little more dexterity in the fingers. And we're gonna cook this little guy kind of like you just cook a salmon, skin on, and uh, that's just what we're gonna do. And these little guys are definitely the ones you wanna keep. There's no need to be keeping the real big, you know, 30 plus inch trout. No need for doing that. And he's cold, but right there we got fresh trout filet. Ready for the cast iron here in a second. All right guys, cooking trout, salmon, pretty easy. Some butter going on. In the old cast iron. This fire's a little hotter than I'd like it to be, but it's, it'll, it's gonna burn down pretty quick. I like to kind of get this a little more stable.
Oh, just the fire smells good enough. Right? I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, how often can you do stuff like this? That's exactly it. I don't oh. know. How many opportunities do you have? You hit him with that old bait. Little, little fresh caught laker in there right on top of the butter. <laughs> and then we're going to throw some more butter on top of the laker. What do you think about that idea? I like it. Anytime you can eat the fish fresh. Yeah, Lakers There's especially. No right. Most guys will probably be like, oh, Lakers suck to eat. Well, they do when you freeze them, and they do when they're big. These little ones are always good. Then little lemon pepper in there in the mix. Hit him with that old bay. <laughs> what is that from? That Cajun dude. Cajun yeah. dude? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember his name. But if he's watching, you're a beauty. Cajun dude's a beauty? Yeah. Get him with that old Let's get it, dude. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> yeah, he does. yeah. All the food he cooks, too, looks so good. He's always doing, like, shrimp and stuff. Yeah, shrimp oils and crab oils. And you just let her rest for a little bit, I reckon, right? Yeah. All right, so when it starts flaking up like that, that's when you know you're done. And there's nothing better than a good old-fashioned. Rustic. Oh, Cody, we just about oh, did the butter. We just about did a bad thing there. There's nothing better than a good old rustic fish fry to kind of end the day like this. And then um, a little lemon, and she's gonna sizzle. Oh, the lemon's frozen. I didn't think about that. Did you? <laughs> I thought about <laughs> not it. a whole lot of moisture coming. I out thought of that. the acid in it would be fine. Yeah, I know. Just hit it in the pan, like split it open more, maybe. So, I don't know. We might kind of be maybe we'll just like shave thin, it. Thin little lemon shavings. That might be decent. Yeah, right? I like that. Gordon Ramsay's watching us, going, <laughs> "God yeah. no, God no." <laughs> <laughs> it's not natural. And you just get something like that in your mouth there, and you're just like, oh my god. Hey, look at that. That is exactly how you want to see it right there. A little crispy on top, nice and flaky yeah. in the middle. Skin's nice and crispy. So good, man. Always put the fire out. Another big thing. Only use the dead wood. It's laying around. Number three. Always bring the carcass with you because you might get checked by a Creole survey dude and you might want to know how long that fish is and you have to obviously count it towards your limit. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. Sun is going down. Delicious fish fry. Amazing day up on your Lake Superior with good buddies. Caught some fish. Nothing crazy. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Oof. I know I kind of recap them so fast. Yeah. And you guys are like, what do I say now every time? Well, if you're having a short lunch day, you know, definitely make sure you're cleaning up your site. You know, make it as clean as when you came. That is the number one thing. You know. Yeah. Definitely okay. keeping, you know, pick up your garbage, stuff like that. Bring the your island, carcasses back. These islands are very them. pristine. Yeah. yeah. We want to keep them pristine. And anytime Bo you can enjoy a place like this, like we did, I mean, you just think how lucky you are. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. The you know? sights you get to see. You know, as an angler. Yeah, pretty fun. Pretty unbelievable. We're gonna load up, jump on the sleds, get back to uh, where we're staying for the night and uh, do it all again tomorrow, I believe is the plan. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we get around a few more fish, they bite a little bit better and we catch a few more big ones. So appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Are all doing it? Do it. Are all doing it? Next time. Do it, do it. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>